Hey pen pals, in this video I'll show you the Kaweco Perkeo, a simple starter fountain pen made in Germany that costs less than $20. Kaweco has a long history starting in 1883 when it was originally known as the Heidelberg Dip Pen Factory. One of Kaweco's earliest models was the eyedropper filling Perkeo. Featured in the 1908 catalog, the fountain pen was made of ebonite with a gold iridium tipped nib. One would have to carry the pen with the nib pointed toward the sky, otherwise it would leak. Not exactly ideal when compared to today's pens. Yet, at the time, it was an improvement over carrying a pot of ink with a dip pen. Fast forward almost a century later, the current CEO of Caveco, Michael Gutberlet, reimagines the Perkeo in 2017 as an ergonomic starter fountain pen. The Caveco Perkeo has a lightweight injection molded resin construction. It's clipless, has a faceted cap that's uh, an octagonal faceted cap, and the tapered barrel is a hexadecagonal cap. Say that three times. The Perkeo has a snap cap, which also has an inner sleeve to help keep the nib fresh with ink. There's only a very subtle bit of Caveco branding that's done on one of the facets of the cap here. So you'll see Caveco is embossed on the uh, facet of the resin here. And then also at the bottom end of the barrel will be the word Germany written in an arc. And on the top of the cap finial, you'll have the Caveco medallion emblem, uh, which is also iconic of the sport collection and as well as many other Caveco pens made today. The 21st century Perkeo was introduced in 2017 in a variety of fashionable color pairings. You see them in this book right here. In 2021, the new collection has a harmonized, monochromatic look with a springtime vibe. Your new colors are Breezy Teal, Jungle Green, Peony Blossom, which I don't have here, and an all clear demonstrator. So many of you might be drawing comparisons of the Perkeo with the Caveco Sport. And the Sport is an iconic symbol of the modern Caveco brand. It stands out as one of the most affordable quality pocket fountain pens on the market. The Perkeo has a similar minimalist aesthetic while addressing the shortcomings of the smaller Sport. Obviously, the size of the Perkeo is much larger than the Sport, allowing for space inside the barrel for a piggybacked ink cartridge or a full-size converter. The Perkeo also has a snap cap versus the twist off cap of the Sport. And both pens will post well and then feel very lightweight in the hand thanks to their resin construction. The grip section on the Perkeo is longer, wider, and contoured to be more ergonomic and accommodating for beginners. Here is a size comparison where we stack the Caveco Perkeo next to the Sport, the Lamy Safari, Faber Castell Grip, and Twisby Go. Now, like I mentioned earlier about the grip, this Caveco Perkeo has a faceted grip. It's similar to the Lamy Safari in that it's contoured uh, so that it makes it easier for your fingers to kind of find where they should be. And it's designed for a tripod grip. So it has three facets, one for underneath where you would have, let's say your finger would be under or you would have your, your middle finger would be uh, touching the bottom of the pen and then one for your thumb and one for your forefinger. And not only does it have a longer section than the Sport, but it also has no cap threads like the Sport has. It has a, a transition that goes from the section to the barrel and has no step. So even if you do grip the pen farther back on the barrel, uh, it's not going to get in the way of anything that's there. It'll just be a completely smooth grip. The Perkeo uses a number five stainless steel, medium or fine point nib. And it has a black feed in all colors except for the clear. I'll show the clear really quick here. So the clear 
has a clear feed, which is pretty cool because that just makes everything on this completely transparent. And you might though see just one little detail uh, that I wish that they might have addressed was on these barrel threads here. Uh, you see some sort of uh, number um, that's printed in yellow and that's consistent with any of the other Perkeo models. It has that number that's printed on the inside of the barrel threads, but it's only visible on the clear demonstrator because you see everything through the clear demonstrator. The nib units on the the Kaveco Perkeo are not swappable with the Kaveco Sport nib. So even though they are number fives like the Sport, they're not compatible with each other. To fill the Perkeo, Kaveco includes one blue international size ink cartridge, and it also includes a dummy cartridge, which you, then you could possibly refill with bottled ink if you'd like, or it could also use an international ink converter, of which the standard Kaveco converter would fit. Uh, this is also a Schmidt K5 type converter, uh, fairly easy to find in other brands as well. However, it does not include this with the purchase of the pen. And you cannot eyedropper uh, this pen due to the fact that there are actual holes at the very bottom bottom of the barrel. So not going to be good if you decide to throw ink in that. It'll just leak right all over the place. For the writing sample, I filled up a fine and medium nib Perkeo with Kaveco Smoky Gray ink using the standard Kaveco converter. Unlike its German competitor, the Lamy Safari, the Kaveco Perkeo has a tighter, more controlled line. The fine nib is true to its name, laying down a drier 0.5 millimeter line while the medium operates at a slightly thicker and wetter 0.7 millimeter line, approximately. The steel nib is very stiff with an ample amount of feedback, which is more noticeable with the fine nib than it is with the medium. The Perkeo is lightweight enough that writing with the cap posted doesn't change the balance. The pen barrel is long enough to write with posted or unposted. Your choice. Even if you aren't a beginner, your fingers will find the faceted grip easy to hold, guiding the nib around the page with fine control. As for presentation, you get what you pay for with the Kaveco Perkeo. A crinkly plastic baggie printed with the Kaveco logo and a fun phrase like, may the ink be with you, or get inked, since it's scared toward a beginner's pen, it would have been nice to include a quick start instructional guide or something to kind of get you started. But if you need any help, you can follow the instructions in our quick tips video on how to fill a fountain pen using an ink cartridge or converter. Starting at just $17, the Kaveco Perkeo is an excellent pen for first timers, students, and those who want a knock around everyday fountain pen. While it's not as compact and pocket-friendly as a sport fountain pen, the Perkeo provides a full-size writing experience at a wallet-friendly price. If you'd like to see more about this iconic Kaveco Sport Pocket Fountain Pen, check out our review video here. Get a behind-the-scenes look at where Kaveco pens are made, as well as an interview from the CEO right here. Never miss a new pen video, unboxing, or quick pen tips by subscribing to the Goldspot Pens channel right there. Thanks for watching. Stay inky, my friends. Take care.